Get this figure and more over at ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. Get in on all the epic WWE action figures, accessories, playsets, and much, much more over at Ringside Collectibles. Use that promo code and save some money. What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite figure review and today's review is on the brand new ringside exclusive WWE Elite Dead Man's Revenge Undertaker as Kane Elite action figure from Mattel and it looks absolutely fantastic but before we get into it guys we gotta cover this freaking packaging man what an epic figure and there's some special features about this figure that are really outstanding that I'm very excited to get into but you can see here look at this freaking packaging I think this is some of the best packaging that Mattel's ever put together you can see here you have the Kane mask right here and when you open up the mask you have the figure obviously right here you get the interchangeable mask you get the figure you get the WWF champion Championship, and you get an interchangeable head head sculpt and some interchangeable hands not only that but down here you can see it says WWE Undertaker on the right hand side you have a picture of Imposter Kane slash Undertaker unmasking right there versus Mankind on the back you have a picture of Undertaker with the mask removed you have some flame designs on the back you have a little bio right there if you'd like to read it you can go ahead and pause it now spinning it around guys you have a picture of Kane slash Undertaker as Kane I think that's Kane though I can't really tell it I, I, maybe it's Undertaker I don't know they're doing a good job of disguising it. But down here you have an Elite logo and that is pretty much it. You also have a ringside exclusive sticker. No, that's that's on the box now. They don't have the sticker anymore. It's, it's literally on there. You can't remove it. Good stuff. But that is beautiful, man. I love that you have the mask right there. You can just open that up. That is great. I'm definitely going to be holding on to this packaging, even though we're going to crack him out of the box and take a closer look at Undertaker as Kane. And this is basically a two-in-one figure. If you put the Kane face mask on there, you obviously have a Kane Elite. And if you keep the Undertaker on there, you have an unmasked Undertaker as Kane figure. So that's freaking sweet. And I I'm just super duper excited, man. We got some comparisons, some epic stuff going on in here. And I'm ready to go, guys. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack Kane slash Undertaker slash Undertaker as Kane. It slashed his dead man's revenge. And did, so let's get him out of the packaging. <laughs> So here is Undertaker Kane out of his packaging, guys. Looking pretty freaking swell, I might say. Playing around with it out of the packaging, I do have some minor gripes, but we do have some excellent things going on with this figure, which we will mention, obviously, into detail. And you guys know how we do. We're going to start off with his accessories and then dive into his figure. But I am really impressed with this, man. I'm really happy to add this to the collection, and I think that I'm most likely going to add this to the Kane collection with the Kane head sculpt on there. I don't think I'm going to put it on my Taker collection shelf yet. I think I'm going to pick up another one later on down the road to add to that Undertaker shelf, but for now, I'll probably stick it on the Kane shelf, and I'm really excited to do that and add that up there and add that long list of Kanes that we got going on, but anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive into Undertaker Kane's accessories, and then we'll take a closer look at Undertaker Kane himself. So getting into his accessories, guys, we do get a beautiful championship belt. This is the WWF Championship, and this time it is dull. It's not shiny like we're used to seeing, and I don't think we've ever seen this from Mattel before. I don't think we've ever gotten it in this exact dull colorway with the you know the dull gold with the light blue on there and everything shiny left off of the belt and I think it looks good I really do enjoy it. you know it's not shiny but I have a million of the shiny so I mean I could easily replace it if I needed to but I think it looks good I think it came out great and this is one of my favorite championship belt designs of all time so I'm really happy to add this and you know sometimes it's good to just switch it up a little bit so I'm, I'm okay with this nothing too crazy I actually would like to see if they could add the old WWF logo I know they can't do the WWF but the old block logo would have been cool for this just to, I know it wouldn't have been accurate, but it would have been cool to get that since we've never seen that before. The old black logo on this specific championship, so I think that would be cool to see in the future. You also get interchangeable hands for this figure. You get interchangeable fists, and what, this is one of the minor gripes I have with the figure. They make the peg freaking skin color, so now when you have the gloves on, you see the skin color peg thing instead of the black, instead of it meshing all together, so that is kind of frustrating, and I don't think they've made interchangeable hands with black pegs unless you get the AJ Styles gloves, so that is something uh, we need to fix if we can. On the figure in the packaging you obviously have open hands or choke slamming hands if you will. And another accessory we have guys is a loose cane mask and you guys will see here the hair is much longer than what is on the cane mask itself. So I don't know if that's because you know it's supposed to be imposter cane so like it's more accurate to the Undertaker right here. I'm guessing that's what it is because if you, you compare them here I mean the hair color is not the same however you know you're supposed to stick this over this and it fits on there pretty freaking good man and you can actually see that 
that you can see the eyes through there. It's not perfect by any means, but it looks okay, and you can see the beard under there. So, I mean, it works out pretty freaking good, and we're going to look and see what that looks like on the figure later on, but I think that does work out pretty good, and it's kind of cool because it hides the eyes, and it looks pretty nice. I actually like this. You could actually probably use this if it, I, I don't know exactly how it looks just yet, but you may be able to use this as the cane head sculpt, though it's the Undertaker underneath if that doesn't bother you. So that is what you get. You get the two different head sculpts, or I should say the one head sculpt and the mask that goes over it, which I do like with the paint tones we got going on. Nice sculpt and all. And then you have the cane head sculpt, which looks pretty good as well. There are a few things that I do have to call out right quick. You have the short brown hair, which isn't a big deal. I mean, longer hair would probably be ideal. But uh, this dull red color is kind of annoying because his ears are still the same dull red color and his beard is the same dull red color that the plastic is molded in. They did not add the paint to the beard or the ears for the skin tone. They did add it to the nose and eyes though. And I don't know, it just kind of looks dull. You can tell that they molded it in red so it kind of has like a dull look instead of painted on. You can see the stripes kind of wielding off right there so they didn't completely finish it. It's not, you know, any deal breakers because the hair finishes it but, you know, you do like to get those details sometimes. But that is pretty much it for Imposter Kane or Undertaker Kane or Kane's accessories, guys. So with that being said, let's move on to Undertaker Kane himself. So getting into Taker Kane himself, guys, you will see the wide-eyed head sculpt that we got going on. I really like it. I think it does capture the likeness of Undertaker right there. We got some really good things going on with this head sculpt. I love the black paint going on around the eyes and on the forehead, and I think it turned out pretty good. I like the skin tone, and I like the beard color we got going on. The hair color looks good as well. And now we're going to plop on this mask to see what it looks like on the figure. So if we plop that on there, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it may be a little bit too big. The Undertaker head sculpt does sit kind of high, but it's not, you know, too terrible or anything like that. So your, your cane may be a bit big headed like the old Jax figure used to be but you know it looks okay. It looks alright. We're not dealing with anything too crazy. Uh, it's popping off the mask and the head sculpt. I do want to see what the cane mask looks like. You got the big red peg right there for the big red machine. Popping on the mask sculpt right here and this is what we're dealing with for the cane head sculpt and I like this uh, again I don't know what it is about this forehead. It kind of just looks like I don't know it's like it's missing too much black or something I may need to repaint it or something to give it that better looking look but I mean the, the head sculpt on there fits nicely and going down into the chest you will see we are missing a little bit of black paint throughout uh, not too bad but it is there and it is noticeable if you can see right here in these stripes you can see it like right there there's a little bit of chipping not not a deal breaker or anything but it is noticeable there if you bend back his ab crunch he is missing the stripes so it did not continue but he does have a really strong ab crunch like my god that's much better than ultimate edition on this figure we finally have an elite version of the two sleeve cane which I really freaking love I freaking and love that man we have been waiting forever for a double sleeve cane so we finally can add that to the collection the elite 12 obviously just had the one sleeve so it's nice to add this one to our collections the gauntlets are still loose like they were on the older cane figures but this time i think they're a little bit more easier to remove because these hands are interchangeable so if you pop that out you could pop off these wrist gauntlets if you wanted to going down to the crotch same thing as the elite 12 with the legs and everything with the red and black going down the sides you got the big black boots that cane is obvious with wearing there you can see that skin tone peg that i was talking about for the cane got that's just annoying. So it's not, you know, it's not terrible, but it's definitely noticeable. Maybe if you put some black paint there or something, I don't know. But I definitely would appreciate if that was black instead of skin tone, so it definitely is noticeable. But that's pretty much it, man. You have your perfect cane figure here. I, I'm definitely going to add this to the cane shelf. I just like it better for the cane shelf. It, it just fits better in my opinion. And I think it's really cool to have this specific moment for Undertaker, but I think it's even cooler to have the dual sleeve cane look. But now that we have taken a closer look at the figure itself, guys, let's get into some elite figure cane comparisons. So getting into the Kane Elite figure comparisons, guys, you will see the brand new ringside exclusive Kane slash Undertaker Kane in the middle. On the left, we have the original Elite 12. I never grabbed the Hall of Champions Target exclusive one with the WWF Championship, so that's that's pretty crappy, but I never got that figure. We also have the WrestleMania Heritage from the WrestleMania Elite. We have the ringside exclusive Hardcore Kane, which is probably my favorite look of Kane ever. And just overall, I love these Kane figures, man. They need to make more of them. They're just so beautiful. We need the different looks of this Kane from the early 2000s. We need all the late 90s canes, all the different variations of the suits, and we just need to see it, man. We need more cane figures, and I would love to see it. No no more new canes or, you know, freaking corporate cane or none of that crap. We need the old classic cane with the old classic masks. So you can kind of see here, guys, one thing I forgot to mention is I guess if you wanted to make this fully accurate to cane, you would have to, you know, paint the, the right eye to give it, you know, the clear look or the blue look, the really light blue look to make it more accurate, but it's not a huge deal, especially if it's up on the shelf, you know, you really won't notice it, but you won't be able to notice the little peg either, would you, you stupid jackass? Complaining about the peg, don't want to complain about the eye socket. But I guess they wanted to give you two different looks
looks of Undertaker. So I guess you have the unmasked Undertaker, you have the mask so you can remove the mask and be an Undertaker underneath, and then you have the mask during the match, I guess, is what they're trying to go for. I'm not exactly sure what they were trying to do here, but it tells me that it's supposed to be Kane because of the hair mold is what I'm thinking. I could be wrong about that. That's just what I'm thinking when I was trying to deliberate on it and everything like that. But that pretty much does it for our Kane Elite figure comparisons. But that pretty much does it for our WWE Elite Dead Man's Revenge Ringside Exclusive Figure Review. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I know it was a much quicker review than we usually do because it was just one figure, but it is a figure that you can go over to Ringside Collectibles and grab. I think it is on back order right now, but you may want to go ahead and order it. That way, you know, it's your order is already placed. I think they are still accepting orders possibly, so definitely go over there. Use the promo code MDTOYS. I know this figure was going fast because people wanted to make their canes with the dual sleeves because all we ever got was the basic, and I know people wanted to add it to their Undertaker shelves as well. So definitely go in, in there and get in on this deal right now. You can use that promo code MDTOYS. Save 10%. Pick up this Kane slash Undertaker figure. It is a two-in-one, so it's really, really nice. If you want to have a Taker, you want to have a Kane, you want to have an Undertaker Kane fart bag, you can totally do that. You can gender football all day, and that's definitely what you want to do. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Comment down below what you think of the Undertaker Kane. If you guys missed my Hell in a Cell pay-per-view review from last night, definitely go check that out. Wild, wild finish over there, so you definitely want to see my reaction to that epic Seth Rollins Bray Wyatt Fiend matchup. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.